Is your kid still begging you for the PlayStation 5 or wondering why you haven't picked up the newest version of the Oculus yet? Well, if you're worried about video games occupying too much of your child's time, you should know it's not all just fun and games because there's a lot to be learned from virtual reality too. That's right. In fact, schools all over the world are now using the world of gaming as a learning tool. And one of the teachers leading the charge is Ben Leskovansky. He teaches computer science at Insight PA Cyber Charter School. And he's also joining us now along with two of his students, siblings, Jesse and James. Thank you all for joining us. And Ben, first off, how did you get started in this? I mean, have you always loved video games? Uh, absolutely, yeah. So I was a uh, gamer growing up myself. Uh, so bringing this into the classroom and as part of the school as a teacher was a no brainer for me. So super excited. So how does that fit in with the curriculum? Because I think there, there are some things maybe parents don't really understand with video games if they're not playing them. How do you fit it into what you're teaching? We teach uh, career classes here at Insight PA. And, uh, you know, a lot of those career classes if they are into gaming can be certainly relatable to the gaming industry, especially in the esports world, whether it's business, IT, even health professions can all be applicable to that gaming scene. All right, let's talk to Jesse and James for a second. And what is it that you guys like about this? What speaks to you about it? We get to have fun and like um, create our own creative things. So were both of you interested in video games beforehand? And then when you found out that this could be part of a class, did that just draw you in? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We play a lot of video games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and apparently that's a good thing. That's what we're learning from this. Ben, can you share sort of some examples of how students have benefited <laughs> from cyber gaming or esports? E and what is esports? Esports uh, is sort of the competitive side of gaming. Uh, so you have your casual gamers and then you have your competitive gamers. Esports takes on the competitive side. So just like a traditional brick and mortar school that might have a football team, a soccer team, we have an esports team that competes against other schools. And on top of that, what we love to do is also give our casual gamers an opportunity to uh, connect with one another as well. Okay, Ben, Jesse, James, you now have Minecraft education pulled up. So walk us through for people who aren't familiar with Minecraft, how this works. Minecraft, the game, it's a uh, survival type game uh, in a very creative game as well, where students can build uh, different things inside of the worlds. And there's actually a competitive scene to it as well, where they can challenge one another to things like build challenges. So you can use it as supplemental content. For example, like uh, resource management, uh, the pricing of resources and you know calculating that you have X amount of dollars to go ahead and build this resource. Or you could use it as a simulation into some historical events. What's awesome is I can see my players, my students, if it's in the classroom, I can see them right here in this world with me and uh, we can collaborate. That's another thing about video games is team collaboration yeah. and something like this that really can be promoted in the classroom and with your students as well. All right, Ben, James, Jesse, thank you all for joining us today and explaining all this. And for more info on the programming and curriculum, you can find at Insight PA Cyber Charter School. Go to our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.